Hi, this is Congresswoman Claudia Tenney representing New York's 24th District. Tonight, President Biden once again tried to take a victory lap despite the endless crises caused by his administration policies. Biden claimed our economy is strong and people are getting back to work. The truth is 60% of Americans rate the economy as bad under Joe Biden. 67% of Americans expect inflation to increase over the next six months and inflation has risen over 13% since Joe Biden took office, crushing American families. Biden's reckless spending created this inflation crisis in the first place, making life unaffordable for most Americans. Biden took credit for lowering gas prices. The truth is, on Biden's first day in office, the average price for a gallon of gas nationwide was $2.39. Today, the national average for a gallon of gas is $3.49 and continues to rise. Households across the country are expected to pay the highest overall energy costs in 15 years this winter. Joe Biden's war on American energy and natural gas has sent energy costs through the roof and made our country weaker on the world stage. Biden said our nation is safe, but under his watch, 4.5 million illegal aliens have flooded across our southern border. And just last weekend, Biden allowed a Chinese spy balloon to tra travel across the entire continental United States, likely collecting strategic military information on our nation, putting all of us at risk against our greatest adversary. Biden abandoned President Trump's successful peace through strength foreign policy that was created by President Reagan. Biden's failed foreign policy has emboldened our adversaries and compromised American interests at home and abroad. Despite Biden's disastrous presidency, our Republican majority is committed to delivering real results for the American people. In the first month that Republicans have been in the majority, we have fully reopened the Capitol to the American people. We voted to defund Biden's 87,000 new IRS agents. We established a bipartisan select committee to hold the Chinese Communist Party accountable. We stood up for the right to life. We ended the COVID vaccine mandate for military service members, and we are just getting started. Our Republican majority will fight to preserve our self-governing constitutional republic, defend our individual rights guaranteed by our constitution, and get bloated big government out of our lives. We will keep our communities safe, make our lives more affordable, and our government more transparent. This may be the last chance we have to save our country. With your active participation in the most precious gift of self-governance, that's been bestowed on the American people, our beautiful constitution, we will emerge from this disastrous crisis in leadership better, stronger, freer, and more prosperous. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great evening.